Hi friends, welcome back to Edupedia World. Today we'll start a new chapter, Lens. And uh, today's lecture will be focused on understanding what lens is, the basic definition of it. We'll see what the different uh, categories of lenses are. We'll discuss in slight details about them. And then we'll see what is the basic working principle of a lens. So let us start with lens. First up, let's see what the definition of lens is. So lens is basically a transparent uh, refracting medium which is bounded by two surfaces which are normally curved. So let me write down the definition. Lens is a transparent refracting medium bounded by two by two curved surfaces and uh, these two surfaces are normal generally spherical in shape in certain cases they are also planar okay so broadly speaking lenses can be of two categories the categories under which lens can fall are convex and the second is concave now what do we understand by convex and concave lens. Convex lens refers to those lens which results in converging of light. So convex is converging. An alternate name for convex lens is also converging lens. And concave lens diverges the light. Diverging. Diverging lens. Okay. So these are broadly speaking the two categories of lens that we can have. Now the concave and the convex lens in itself can be further subclassified depending on what is the nature of the two surfaces. Okay. One important thing to note about concave and convex before we jump into the different categories is that the convex lens, the convex lens has larger thicker central region and uh, narrower edges thicker center and it is just the opposite for concave so thicker thicker edges okay so a sample a diagram for concave lens would be something like this thicker edges and uh, thinner center region and convex would be something like this so the central region is thicker okay now let us uh, go into the subcategories or the classifications of, of each of them these is the category of convex okay so for the convex there we can have a biconvex lens also called as double convex or the equiconvex in which both the surfaces are convex in nature right so this surface is also convex and this surface is also convex second category for convex can be plano convex plano convex as the name suggests one surface is a plane and the other surface is convex okay and finally, we can have what is called as concavo convex. So there has to be a concave surface and a convex surface. So this is the convex and this is the concave surface. But how do we differentiate it and say whether it is concavo convex or convexo concave? Right, because there is one convex and one concave here. You can see this belongs to the convex category because the central region is thicker than the edges. Fine. 
now uh, that we have seen the convex subcategories let's see the concave subcategories concave the parallel subcategories are biconcave both the surface being concave similar to biconvex here then we can have a concave plano again as was here plano convex here too there is a plane surface and a concave surface okay and finally this one i think the name has been mistakenly written as concave convex this should be convex concave sorry for that con v e x o convex concave so basically this is a concave lens but one surface is convex and one is concave but why does it fall under the con cave category because the edge is thicker than the center right i should uh, say that this is also better explained as a plano plano concave rather than a concave plano okay so now that we have seen the subcategories of the convex or the converging lenses and the concave or the diverging lenses let us see what does uh, these two kind of lens do to a light obviously as uh, we have seen here the convex should result in converging and the uh, concave should result in diverging of the rays of light let us see how does that happen okay imagine that we have a plano a biconvex lens okay biconvex lens like this and let's say that a ray of light is striking this surface then what we will observe in the uh, case of a convex lens is that light will bend here and light will further bend here and basically the ray of light bend inwards so a ray of light here bends towards here a ray of light if it was at this edge it would have come in this direction so basically all the rays of light are kind of converging to a particular point right now so this is why it's known as a converging lens now in the case of diverging lens what would have happened let us see suppose a ray of light is striking here then what will happen is that this surface the ray of light will slightly deviate in this direction and in this surface it will further deviate away similarly if a ray of light was here it would have diverted here and again here so effectively what is happening is that the ray of light is diverging away here it was converging towards a point here it is diverging away from a point okay so it is going away therefore this is called as a diverging lens or a or by the same it is a concave lens and here it is converging or a convex lens now how can we say that the ray of light why is it that the ray of light is moving towards this point here and moving away this can be thought out by a simple thought experiment if we imagine that the lens is made up of uh, lens is made out of uh, prisms we know the property of prism already right now suppose this lens consisted of a combination of prism like this so let's say a prism here something like this so basically this is a prism let me use a different color this comes out to be a prism this is a part of a prism with the top missing this is also a part of a prism inverted and the top missing and this is again a prism which is inverted right so what happens when a ray of light passes through a prism suppose a ray of light strikes here it will move towards 
the normal right towards the normal and again here it will move away from the normal similarly here a ray of light it is moving towards the normal and again here it is moving away from the normal as a result it is behaving like this so we can assume the convex lens as a combination of prisms arranged in this fashion and then we can understand why the ray of light is converging similarly in this case what we can do let me use a different color here what we can do is again we can consider it is a combination of prisms but a little different arrangement will be here how come suppose we are breaking it here then suppose here then here so now the prisms is inverted at the top with the top which was supposed to be here is cut off so but this is a partial prism inverted again this is a partial prism which is inverted this is a partial prism which is erect and this is again a partial prism which is erect right so what will happen here is let's take a different color what will happen here is a ray of light striking now the normal is this one right and since this is the denser medium and this is air the light will bend towards normal therefore it will bend something like this and again on this surface since it is the ray of light is going from a denser to a rarer medium light will bend away from the normal so it will further move away right so we see that uh, in the case of concave scenario the light is going away and in the case of convex light is coming towards this is how exactly the prism uh, the rather the lens is working and it can be explained by simply understanding the lens as a combination of different prisms okay so this lecture has been an introductory lecture on lens and uh, we saw the different kind of lenses we saw how exactly the ray of light is being bent by a lens the next lecture we will see the technical terms different technical terms that are related with lens and uh, we will build our knowledge further using those terminologies till the next class have a great day goodbye